But what makes this objection interesting, and the Arabic-speaking Christians can confirm this, and the Arabic-speaking Muslims, if they're going to deal honestly with what the Arabic says. The Quran says that Allah prays. He prays for Muhammad, and He prays for believers. Note what I did not say. I didn't say Allah prays to Muhammad. I didn't say He prays to Muhammad. I don't want someone calling saying, you said Allah prays to Muhammad, you're a liar. I'm not saying Allah prays to Muhammad. I say Allah prays for him and the believers. Where's the proof? Here. Surah Al-Baqarah, and there's an article where I document this, and I quote the Quran and the Hadith that say that Allah prays and He worships. According to one Hadith, Allah even recites the Quran. Right? And did so before He created the heavens and the earth. But here, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 157. This is what it says. They are those on whom are the prayers, salawatun, salawat, the prayers from their Lord. These are the ones that have the prayers of their Lord upon them. Their Lord prays for them. Salawat and mercy. His mercy and prayers. It is they, it is they uh, who are the guided ones. Surah 33, 43. Chapter 33, verse 43. It says, He it is who prays. You sully for you. You sully. Allah prays for you and His angels. So Allah and His angels are praying for believers. That's 33 verse 43. And then finally, Surah 33 verse 56. 33 verse 56. Verily, Allah and His angels pray. You saluna. In fact, it says, You saluna ala nabi. Allah and His angels are both, both these groups are praying upon for the Prophet. O you who believe, Pray for him, sallu, you also pray. If Allah and his angels pray for Muhammad, you pray too. Three verses in the Quran that says that Allah prays. I have the Muslim scholars admitting that the word salawat and sallah means prayer and worship and that Allah actually prays. I know Muslims come up with objections saying, no, it doesn't mean that. Allah's salat means his barakah, his blessing. No, because even one Muslim scholar said that even Muhammad made a distinction between Allah's Salah and His Barakah, meaning He used two different words to denote that Allah prays and blesses. So you cannot say that prayer means blessing, and you cannot say that the Arabic words for prayer means that Allah is sending mercy, because in Surah 2157 it says this, let me repeat it again. They are those on whom are the prayers from the Lord and mercy. So both Allah's prayers and His mercy, right, are shown, are given, to the believers. So here prayer is different from Rahma. Two different words suggesting that not only does Allah send blessing and mercy, He also prays. So now we are going to ask the Muslims the following question. And I have plenty of more documentation. If you're saying that I'm wrong, I'm lying, I have the quotes from the Muslim scholars saying I'm right. So you can call and challenge me, quote them to say, to show us where it says Allah prays. But here's my challenge to you. Since you don't believe in the Trinity, you don't believe Allah is three persons, you don't believe Allah is two persons, Allah is absolutely one, can you explain to us Christians, whom does Allah pray to when He prays for Muhammad and believers? When angels pray for Muhammad, they're praying to Allah. When you pray for Muhammad, you're praying to Allah. When Allah prays for Muhammad, who is He praying to? To Himself? Could you please answer that objection? We invite you to call in.